Hi guys! In this video I'll show you how to initialize Webex and we'll create our first component. Let's start by creating a simple HTML page. Start by specifying HTML5 doc type for it. As usual, the document should contain a head and a body section. By the way, all the code that I'm writing is always accessible for you in Webex snippets, so feel free to check it out. But now let's initialize Webex. So there are several ways to do that. You can download Webex package. If you are familiar with Bower, Nugget or NPM, you can use that. Or you can use CDN. So let's check out the first way. You can download the library from website webex.com slash download and then move it to necessary directory and unzip it. Now you can include webex.js and webex CSS files into the document head section. Now let's look at the next way. So you can use Bower, Nugget or NPM. If you are familiar with Bower, Nugget or NPM, you don't need to download anything. You can install Webex files via package managers by a single command. But in this project, we'll work with the CDN. For that, you need to include two Webex files, Webex CSS and Webex.js, directly from the Webex CDN. If you need to get one of the older versions, you should include the necessary number of the version into the links to the code files, something like this. Here you just write necessary version number. Now we are ready to initialize our first component, and you'll see how easy it actually is. All of the Webex code will be placed inside of webex.ui. So we write that inside of JavaScript script tags. To create a proper UI component, you should use the view property. Its value defines which component will be created. Components names talk themselves, so it's easy to remember them at first steps. We will go through all the components in next videos, so don't even worry about it. Let's create a calendar. We can create it with a single line of code. That will be view, calendar. And that's it. I'll show you other cool things that you can achieve with just few lines of code. For example, let's add week numbers to our calendar. Just set it to true. Also, we can set time picker to true. What this will do is add, you guessed it, a time picker to our calendar. Let's look at the result. Looks nice, right? And these are only a few of the available parameters. You saw how easy it is to create components, and it's going to get even more interesting. Next, we are going to look at layouts and create even more components. So, let's get busy.